Today on the Garage Engineer Shop, we're going to talk about why I switched over from the old traditional circuit tester to a 12 volt power probe. So the first thing you do to set up your power probe, you just connect the positive clamp to the positive on the battery and the negative on the negative clamp. So the first thing feature I like about this is that it can sense positive and negative without having to move anything around. You can just touch a wire and tell if it's grounded or if it has a positive power. So uh, this comes with an LED light and this is going to tell you red if it's a positive getting positive power or green if it's negative. So I'm just going to touch it and you see how it's turned red because I'm touching the positive side of the uh, battery or the circuit. It, so there's circuitry inside here that knows the direction. So again, touch the negative and it turns green. So that's telling me this is the ground side of the circuit. So for feature number two of why I like the power probe over the old uh, circuit tester is that the circuit testers used to come with an incandescent light. And that had a about a 270 milliamp draw on the circuit. And so with now modern technology and you get uh, more sensitive electronic equipment, that's not acceptable. And we'll go into the le latter half of the video. I'll explain why, but this isn't a safe on um, current vehicles. Now some of these circuit testers come with LEDs and I've switched this bulb out uh, to an LED bulb and it still produces about 66 milliamps of power, but that's still too much for me when you're testing sensitive equipment. Whereas if you go to the power probe, this only draws 4 milliamps. And we'll again show all this in later in the video. But that's why it is uh, computer safe for your vehicle. So for the third feature of the power probe, this has a little button right here. You push up for positive and you get a red line. Now what this, do this is doing is sending 12 volts to the tip of that. So whatever you touch, it will add 12 volts to it. If you push down on the button, you get a green light, and that's showing that you can test for ground in the circuit. Now what makes this great is that you can test in the vehicle or out of the vehicle circuits to see if they're working or not. You're applying a 12 volt voltage to something to see, like a light bulb, if it lights up to tell if it's good or not. And if you want to do, uh, and if you're on the negative side of the circuit, you can hit the ground and it will draw power from the battery through the circuit and draw this down directly to the ground. That's if you have a short down the line in the circuit uh, in the ground and you want to bypass it and you just want to make sure that circuit works. Feature for number four I like this about this is that it's a continuity tester. So what you can do is you take this uh, extra lead that it comes. This is basically connected to the negative and this is your negative lead. Attach that to your component and then you, all you have to do is touch the uh, tip of the probe to the other side and it'll tell you if there's continuity going through it. And for the fifth feature, this is more something they said, it, it, I don't, it's okay, it's not really the big thing of the power probe, but basically since you've got a negative on one end and then you've got the, uh, this negative uh, adapter next to the probe and you've got a four meter line, the company says you can use this as basically a, a circuit lead. So if you needed to test something and uh, you it was far away, we just unplug the positive from the battery, and basically you're just using this as a long wire with two alligator clips on the end of it. So that might come in handy. Uh, that's not a main feature of the Power Pro, but that's just something in addition to it. So those are the five major features of the Power Probe of what they say the uh, Power Probe can do. And if you'd like to see more videos like the one that you just saw, you can check here and here. And remember the ABCs of making. Always be creating. Till next time. Hey.